Hey, where'd my music go? Hold on here. Ding ding, tang ding, tang tang, tang tang. All right, that didn't work so nice. Let me just turn that down. That was from Return of the Oberdin. This is called Soldiers of the Sea, and uh, that game, uh, I, I kind of wish I played it myself, um, but I was watching uh, Watson Amelia play it, or Amelia Watson, that's her name. And um, that game is fucking cool. That It's it's just your investigator that goes uh, to check out a, bo a boat that drifted ashore, uh, drifted back, and, uh, flicks my sunglasses. No! No, I need those. Pew! See? I mean, look at this. I look naked. I look like I'm wearing a Ghost Trick shirt that just doesn't fit me at all. I gotta, I gotta wear this to complete the look. Anyway, o Oberdin is, uh, is a, it's investigating what the fuck happened for this boat that just suddenly appeared, uh, back to where it, it's, it, uh, from its voyage, but with no one on it, and uh, it's a little supernatural. You get a, a a watch, and you like you find a corpse, like bones on the the ground, and <laughs> walking ever true. Um, uh, you find bones on the ground, and you you flick open your watch. It's got a skull in the middle of it, and uh, and you just kind of like go to the the last minutes before this uh, this this like soldier or whatever this the seaman, the topman, the captain, whoever you have to find out um, died. And you get to see his last moments, like some conversation that happened before. And, um, and okay, selling my body for ad money sounds fucked up. But look, I, we've all got billboards that we wear. They're, and they're called t-shirts. You know, some people wear graphic tees. I wear uh, Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, Copyright Capcom com, uh, Company, Limited something else, Limited TD, 2010 All Rights Reserved, you know, I mean. You wear you wear your shirt. I'll wear mine. How, how's that? How's that? Huh? <laughs> anyway, um, going back to you know the moment of death uh, is is uh, is. Ne I honestly didn't think about that, but that's like exactly what Ghost Trick is all about. So um, I suppose what I was doing was I was just enjoying more Ghost Trick. Anyway, um, wait, more more murder mysteries. And it's, it's like a lot of murder mysteries. You have to find out what happened to like all 50 crewmates. Cool game. Also, like visually very interesting. It's It looks like uh, like really old games that used to be on like the Apple II, like kind of like adventure games, except, you know, it's in first person and everything. So it's a lot higher fidelity. Anyway, let's get back into this. I've got my smart water, which is not actually smart water. It's just a, it's just a smart water bottle that's full of water. So I'm getting hydrated, but also 
I mean, I might crack open a beer, but also I've got Nachan Suntory orange juice. It's got the little like smiling orange on the on the front of it. I remember somebody mentioning that like the apple version is like really, really, really good, and it tastes more like apple juice than any other apple juice that exists. Um, uh, and and that version was sold out, and it's it's sold out every time I've taken a look. So instead, I uh, um, Shami mouth flapping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, slurp, slurp, lap, lap. But uh, this this orange juice is so sweet that it like coats your mouth for a long time afterwards. It's kind of a, it's kind of it throws me off. But it's 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 good. I like this orange juice. But I really want to try the um, uh, the apple juice. Well, one day I'll, I'll give you my my trip report or something. Ew. Oh yeah, the the sweetness like staying. That's rough. It's it's I'm not a super huge fan of it. Like the the drink it, in the beginning is fine, but I, I definitely kind of like want to wash my mouth out with some water instead afterwards. So I'm not going to be getting this again. I got two two cartridges. Loves to have things coating his mouth. What does that even mean? Explain further. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, it's 11:13 p.m. It's chapter nine. Let's get fucking started. Let's let's do this. Come on, tell me, everybody. I hope everybody's doing okay. Staying cool, staying hydrated. <clears throat> now, I'm completely black back in the present, and it's completely shrouded in darkness. That's not what it said at all. I can't see it, but I feel the tension in the air. It's a state of emergency. And that's only natural. With a power failure, all the cell bars opened automatically. Plus, now, a death row inmate is loose in the darkness. Yeah, we missed 11-11. It's a shame. Mari would be pissed. I did what I promised Lin. I stopped the execution. But that condemned criminal is now in just as much danger as before. Alright, time to help a, someone escape. Oh. Alright, so everything's dark. We see people trying to investigate what's going on. We can dial, or we can go into this room. There's probably a water droplet, but I don't see... Oh, wait, no, we can go up. Hello. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The guy said, go to the spoon. The detectives told me to head for the spoon when I got back to the present. So, here I am. Oh. Oh, the bell. Better go back. Oh, that's the first thing this guy said this whole time. Oh, no. Yeah. I should have given him a worse voice. Oh, we're back. Whew, I'm back. I'm guessing that, um, that Jowd realized that, oh, yeah, the flushing thing is how they've been communicating and, uh, and manipulated it. Thank goodness somebody flushed this toilet. That was good timing. More than good timing, Sissel. I mean, Sissy. Now to use the cover of darkness to help the detective escape. But first I have to find him. Oh shit. It's prisoner C-74. Secure the prisoner. He's got fucking Kevlar. Holy shit. All right, prisoner secured. Hmm, it looks like they're hunters in this darkness. Yeah. Prisoner Hunters? That's not as exciting with titles Monster Hunter. I hope they haven't found Detective Jeff. <clears throat> this is some true darkness. But luckily, darkness doesn't exist in the ghost world. I can make use of that fact to help me find the detective. Yeah, let's do it. Pop. 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 Oh no. Oh wait, open picture frame. Huh? Spooky! Oh, what's that red light? Oh, it's, you know, the hunter. Hmm, it looks like the hunter's eyes glow red. Nice and convenient. Whoa, ball! Wow, well, check it out. <laughs> it doesn't look like escape is gonna be easy. <laughs> Jowd, uh... Jowd ball. Detective ball. That's what I should have named this, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, we can actually pop in the gun, or like the Kevlar vest or something, okay. 
Anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here to talk. Oh, there you are. I was wondering what I was gonna do. Are you the one who made that top toilet bell ring? That's right. I had another napkin laying around. Thanks to that, I managed to make it here. But how did you know to do that? Oh, come on, sissy. He's been watching. I learned a few things about your ghost tricks during our time together. They certainly can be very useful powers, but at times, not so much. I knew that if the internal phones weren't working, you'd be trapped in the death chamber area. So I quickly came with an alternative route. A route that made use of Sausage Head's spoon and my napkin. Wow, this detective is good. Next time you praise me, go ahead and say it out loud. Anyway. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it looks like it's time for a strategy meeting. An escape strategy, huh? This could be interesting. Let's do it. So, let's make sure we're both clear. The key to, the escape, to my escape is this darkness. Once the basement power supply is restored, escape will be impossible. So we move under cover of darkness, huh? I know I won't have much trouble with that. But I'm afraid I won't be able to see, so you'll have to lead the way. Lead the way? Once you find a safe spot for me to move to, I want you to give me a signal. Okay, fine, but how? The dead don't have voices, even if they did. We have to be quiet. Don't you worry about that. I have an idea. Let's just try it, and you'll see how it works. This detective likes to just dive right into things. Even more than Lin does. Well, see, he doesn't die all the time. He's, in fact, pretty good at not dying. So, you know, they're pretty different. If they find me, I imagine they'll shoot first and ask questions later. But if I die again, we can just start over, right? And he says, cheerfully. <coughs> I don't know if you know it or not, but this is a special prison. There aren't any dangerous criminals here. Except for me, that is. Yes, I did hear something about it being a special place. Yeah, because of the special status, they're not prepared at all for emergencies. They have four timid security guards. At most. I think I saw some hunters lurking in the darkness, though. Those are the guards. They were, they're wearing night vision goggles. Night vision goggles? There are special glasses that let you see in the dark. Very handy things. Sissy continues to not know anything about anything. If I enter their field of vision, it's all over. So it's all about staying out of the guard's line of sight, huh? Make sure you guide me to safe spots. Let me underline that and bold it and then write it again in red. Safe spots. All right, I think we're clear. Except for, you know, what the signal is. Now, about that signal I want you to give me. Oh yeah, how am I supposed to do with it? Do it. I've already been dead once. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but I can sense your powers now. You, you what? For example, you're in the bunk right now, aren't you? Oh. Wow, I'm impressed. I guess you have a sixth sense. Handy for detectives. I think it's more like a detective sense. Okay. Wh huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound right somehow. <laughs> anyway, the details don't matter. You see this Jowd icon here? I drew it myself. I'm a bit of a painter, you know. Touch. Yeah, where did that come from? Let's use it as our signal. How will that work? If you touch the Jowd icon, I'll sense it. Then I'll move to where you are. For, so, for example... If you move to that spoon and touch the Jowd icon, I'll run to the spoon. Simple, right? Alright, all fine. Let's start our escape plan. Just make sure you guide me to safe spots, Sissel. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking why he was smiling so big. So that red light. That's a lot of the night vision goggles on one of the guards. I can use the light to let me know where the guard is. And if you watch the light closely, you can tell how the guard is moving too. Very informative in this darkness. Keep a sharp eye out for it. 
He's wacky. Can I get him to just get under? I guess I can't get him to get under that thing. Actually, hold on. Let's do this one step at a time. Let's get you... Let's watch this guy. And let's see if we can't just get him under the table. Go! Wait, no. You're supposed to go a little further. Alright, well, we fucked up already. Ah! There he is! Blam! Pow! Biff! If he enters a guard's field of vision, it's over. I have to watch the movement of the red lights. First thing to do is take a good look around and check out what the enemy is doing. You know, uh, I, I figured, uh, yeah, for now, how about just aiming for the neighboring cell? We can't hurry too much in this darkness. Let's take it slow. Yeah, I was taking it even slower than you or suggested. I, I thought you were going to get under the table. All right. Okay. I see how it is. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we didn't even get to see him die. Save some time, though. It's nice. Fortunately, we can look around while we're doing this, so just wait till he turns. Pow! Oops, no, don't trick. I'm supposed to hit the- you're supposed to hit the jowd button, Cecil! Boom! Yeah! Ball. Okay, we got a- we got one walking around. Now that's trouble because- oh, oh no, 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 I need a- I need a pop in his vest. Can do. Nice. These guards are on the move. Now what? You can get a sense of how the guards are moving by watching the red lights. And I think you already know this, but just in case, if you want to take a look around, you can slide the screen. And if I recall correctly, I can use the D-pad to use the same thing. Okay, great. Now, where is a good place to hop? Oh! Hmm, can I get him... No, I don't think we want to get him in the wall. Let's see how much further this guy walks. Oh, he goes upstairs. Okay. Nice, so we can go under the stairs. Uh, and this guy's just fucking watching like a sniper. Alright. Hmm, this area under the stairs is a blind spot for the guards. They won't find him here. This spot is safe. Alright, comes back down, so we're gonna wait a while. Ball. Fucking round. Or maybe I can run... No, no, he turns around, okay. So we gotta wait for him to come all the way up. We're over here. I'm getting that funky fresh feeling! It's almost time to hit the jowd button, Sissel! Go! Oh, yeah. There he is! Shit. So you can just see through that, huh? Okay. Wh what just happened? Apparently there was a hunter lurking in the ceiling. Could you do something about him? It's so dark, I can't even see the bullet coming. Okay, can you see bullets coming at you? Can you, are you? can you perceive so fucking quickly? Is your refresh rate on your eyes so good that you can see bullets coming? Fucky fresh. <laughs> He becomes hammer. So what? He dodged in the bullet if it wasn't dark? Wow. That's what makes you a good detective. Lin has a lot to learn. Trick time! Alright, alright, alright. So, oh, we gotta start from here. Okay. Here I go. We got the bonk. Turn around. Turn around again. Go! This all could have been prevented if the uh, if the guards like made or if the special cell or the special prison had like squeaky shoes on everybody. He can neo shit when he's in ball mode. Oh, <laughs> I, I parsed that a little bit differently um, than. Oh no, I went too far. Well, maybe I can go up. I don't know. Seems like I'm gonna have to do some interesting things here. Valve hatch mechanism. Hatch mechanism. Valve. Okay. So let's just open this and see what happens. Okay. Ah, uh, so I gotta time that. Gotcha. So I'm gonna have to open that again when this guy's roughly going up. Or when he's when, when he's around the toilet. 
Yeah, he's just gonna go back up. That's fine. This is a good time for a sip of water. 11, 16 p.m. Oh, he's not gonna make it in time. What happens if I close this? Wait, how's did he get? Oh, he just stays up there. Oh, okay. Hey, that works for me. Wait, come back here. Shit. You're just barely too far, motherfucker. Flap, 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 flap. Is it so obvious when I drink water? Wow. Here, watch, watch this. Watch this. <sighs> Delicious. You know, coming back from New York, I was a little concerned that, like, New York's very, very soft, delicious water would kind of spoil, spoiled me. And, you know, like, the baked goods are not as good. There, there's nothing in, there's, there's nothing to even compare. But, it's kind of, I, I don't mind this apple water here. Only a peak of the flat one with sunglasses. Well, I can't just show it all. That's for the only shamis. Alright. Where's the upper guy? Well, I guess I can't see from here. Come on! Let's go! That's good. Nice. Even down here, he's bald. What power? Okay. So now it gets interesting because there's the second guy patrolling. And I guess for now we just have to find out, you know, where we're going to send him. Oh, what I could do is I could open one of these hatches. So we're going to drop him down in here once he gets close enough. Please get... Okay, there we go. So we're opening this hatch. Oh, I didn't mean open both. Okay, whatever. So we close this one. Oh. Oh, he's, he's just patrolling now. Okay. So, how do we maneuver around him? Oh, I know. So, like, when, um, when first uh, staircase patrol, lower staircase patrolman is all the way back here, this guy's standing up at, up at the top, and we drop him down. We send Jout out up, and then we drop this guy down. Uh, that's going to be quite some timing. The trick is that I have to get... Where am I going to put him? I can send him up here, but then then what? You know? I can't really get him in here either. Hmm. This is tricky. Uh, yeah, I can't move beyond this point. This feels like a dead end. So... If I move down... No, I can't see anything. For now, let's try sending him to, like, the waste basket. Oh, wait. This guy's moving further? Mmm... Okay. No, but this doesn't work, because even if I point him to this... Oh wait, no, this does work. If I point him to this bunk while this guy patrols further... Okay, it doesn't work right now because this guy's patrolling this way, but... Eventually, I'm gonna get... Uh, the next place is to get Jot up there. And it'll be easier if I have him run... No, I can't, I can't activate the valve, I just have to uh, be smart about my timing. I wonder if I kind of have to adjust this guy's cycle, because these guys, like, I feel like this guy's going to be running back by the time, um, yeah, like, he's already moving back. This is kind of when I would want to do this, 
but it's the timing's all wrong. Hmm, this is a tricky one. As it turns out, Princeton breaks are kind of tough. Let's see if we can't, like, reset this guy. Oh, I, I'm in the bunk still. Let's see if we can't reset this guy's timing by, uh, by dropping him down here. Hey, buddy. Straight down. And let's open you up. Bye! Oh, fool! Okay, we just have to wait for him to come back up. Or maybe things are, end up being the exact same anyway. I'm not sure. Do I have to open this up again? I think I do. Maybe I let him fall down again. It's hard to tell like what the cycle is. Did I just reset this to the original cycle? So let's, let's close this now. So yeah, we'll watch the cycle and see like what the setup is. Okay, this is looking promising. It's a slim window. But yeah, no, this this looks right. Just fucking go for it. Oh, that's a little far. I can't really tell where you are. Okay, well, then never mind. How about somewhere a little closer? Alright, okay, okay. Well, all that worked for nothing. We still have a problem though, because I can't tell- I guess I can try to get him into like this valve area. Like I open these and I just like, hey, get in the valve. And then, from then he would be pretty clean, I think. Like crawling out. That's my best guess right now. Thanks for your patience, Jowd, and chat, as I figure this one out. The puzzles do definitely get harder. So let's open this up. Oh wait, no, I don't think I wanted... No, I did want to open this up, but I didn't need to do it then. So let's trick it closed. And then once this guy passes, I'll trick it open and tell Jow to get in the valve. Yeah, so he's gonna walk past. Chow gets a sick pleasure from staying in ball mode, he's fine. True. He can take it. He, he's a he's a big boy. Can you get here? Oh come on. Oh! No! Okay, so that was what to do. It's just that uh, the timing was bad. Wow, pulling up. A, a nice pull up, huh? I just can't seem to find the break I need. Then you'll just have to make one. Try to find a way. Maybe you can try calling me to all kinds of different places. I'm agreeable. I can go pretty much anywhere. Pommified. <laughs> Fucking sicko pommified pommy mode. Fully pommatized. Empty can. Trick this empty can. Get tricked, idiot. Fooled. Well, let's get up. I mean, I think the valve is definitely the way to go. It's just I need to time it better. <laughs> Not even Kirby is that level of ball, to be honest. Okay, I think this is better. Yeah, because we're just watching the timing of this guy. Shrink this open.
Yeah. I want you to pop in here. Jout, it's fucking time. <laughs> oh, he fell. Who cares? Alright. Go this way. Oh, wait. From here, I can get him up and, and over, I guess? Oh, that seems shitty. Okay, um, I guess from here... Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Um uh no, 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 don't talk. Don't talk. We're we're not trying to do that. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Uh but here, I'm just going to roll backwards because we got to wait anyway. Oh. This is good. This is content. Fucking go. <laughs> <coughs> All right, go here. Boom. And this guy didn't go far enough. Yeah, okay, good, 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 good. good. We're set. <sighs> good fucking content. Oh wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Wait, how do I do this? How do I get Jowd over here? Oh, no, I don't need to. I, I have access over here, and I can get him down there to the hatch mechanism. Roll. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, this guy's a problem. We need to uh, spook him, I guess, with the drums. Play the fucking track! Investigate. Stand directly on the hatch mechanism. Fool! Hey, bud. Uh, you know, these guys uh, land well. Can you get over here? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Nice! If I move now, I'm gonna fall. Can you close the hatch for me? Yeah, right. Slick moves, dude. Go! So, what do you think? I'd say if we've come this far, we did it. Great job, Cecil. Wait, that, that's it? We're just out? The basement generator has been repaired, restoring power to all areas. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Well, he's, uh, it's time to run. Whoa! <laughs> we just made it! <laughs> but uh, the question is, what now? I mean, you still gotta go. I don't have anywhere to go, do I? Maybe I'll go back to my cell. Y you better be kidding me. But I'm still a condemned criminal, you know. I doubt anybody would welcome me with open arms. Why don't you try contacting Lynn? She went to see some justice minister guy. So an escape, escape death row convict is supposed to just report in to the justice minister, is that it? Hmm. I kind of like that. Anyway, after all the trouble you went through, I guess I'd better run. That would be nice, yes. Alright, Cecil. Till we meet again. Fucking go! So, now I've saved <laughs> a contempt criminal's life and... Helped him escape. Was that really the right thing to do? I guess all I can do is believe in Lynn at this point. You know, the lady that shot me. sissel has got a interesting friends. Detective Jowd was painting my picture in his cell. He knows me. I'm sure I'll be talking to him again. Trick time. All right, we did all the hard work. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> let's dial. You know, let's check the uh, let's check the guard room. Let's see what these two are up to. But detectives jowled until we made meet again and came around quicker than I expected. 
When I got back to the guard room, the next fateful call came in. Yeah, still doing the panic dance? Hell yes. Hello, this is... Cecil, are you there? Hello? Who's this? This is a special prison. You can't just call it. Oh, I'm not talking to you, officer. Anyway, if you're there, Cecil, come here immediately. I'll be waiting for you. If you make it in time, that is. Hey, right, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Trace complete. You got a new phone number. KMR? Isn't that like the, the person that, you know, Grand Blue Fantasy... Oh, wait, no, hold on. They're saying something. I'm gonna listen to them. That call! Who was it from? I don't know. Some weird call. Ah, oh, but who? We'll call an end to my dancing! Yeah, well, once you get going like that, I'm not gonna stop you. It's a contest, then. Which will stop first? My dancing or the turning of the planet? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. It's time to go. We got what we need. External line. KMR. It's Pride Month. We had to visit them. True. I had to let them speak. They have so much to say. So much to share. A moon hit my eye like a big piece of the on the other end of the telephone line. The scene greets me as one tells me one simple fact. Oh, what, what went down here? What's going on? Oh, fuck! That our great escape plan has ended in failure. Well, never expected to see you here, Inspector Cabanella. I believe that's my line, old my old friends. What were you doing here? I believe that's my line too. Clearly. I came to attend your execution. They told me what time it was. Couldn't get into the chamber, so I was observing a moment of silence here. And when I looked up, my eyes were full of tears. There you were, baby. It's just the way things turned out. I took part in what seemed like a fun game, and here I am. <laughs> a fun game? Here's what I wish, my old friend. Wish it was anybody but me you found you here. Because now that i found you, man, I have to turn you in. You have to stay spotlessly clean, after all. Uh, hey, yeah, let's chat. Let's talk. Thanks for coming. I wanted to say goodbye to you. As you can see, I guess I'm not going to be much help to you. What's going to happen to you? Being executed tonight is just about the only thing on my schedule, it seems. Executed, huh? That is pretty much meaningless to me. Anyway, I guess we'll be seeing each other again. By the way, there's something I'm looking for. Oh, that's right. Your lost memory. You know things I'd like to know. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? And we're turned for tonight's fun little game, is that it? <laughs> That's an interesting time to start talking to somebody um, when they're held at gunpoint. You know, just like, hey, uh, can I can I ask you some questions, buddy? I know you you you, you know you, you're a little busy. You, you're you're held at gunpoint by your like your your old partner. Um, but uh, can can I ask you about myself? I, I have some existential crises I need to work through. I saw it, you know, that picture you were painting in your cell tonight. That was me. Which means you must know me. I'm very sorry, but I can't talk to you about that right now. Wh what? Why not? Because I... I don't know your true face. My true face? I'm a detective. I can only talk about what I'm sure of. However, I can give you one lead, at least. A lead? What is it? A long time ago, I gave Lynn something to hold on for me. It was a music box. <laughs> oh. If you ever come across it, I advise you to open it. 
It might jog your memory. That wooden box I found in Lynn's apartment. And that's the only help I can give you right now. That man pointed a gun at you right now. They say he's your good friend. We were when we were in the detective division together. That was a long time ago. Now he's the head of the special investigation unit. The top of the elites. Getting ahead is the only thing he thinks about now. And that white coat of his is the symbol of his determination. His white coat? For somebody looking to get promoted at the top, what's the one thing they're afraid of most? A blot on their record, of course. Like a stain on a pure white coat. Who would promote a man with a coat covered in stains? If it was me, I'd go with a black coat that didn't show the stains. Now, Sissel, how do you know when it's time to clean it? Come on. The world is full of excellent candidates. Even one mistake could be the end of a career. But everybody makes mistakes, right? Nevertheless, Cabanella has chosen the path of the white coat, and he'd do anything, anything at all, to hide his coat's shadows. Like, send his good friend to the gallows? Because that's the right thing to do. I'm a condemned criminal, after all. And that's why he has that gun pointed me at me right now. Is your execution really the right thing to do? I had a fair trial, and that's what was decided. No problem there. But... still... This is the punishment that I should receive, in order to bring a final close to that case and put it to rest forever. Hmm... Lynn believes your innocence. She's running around right now to prove it. Trying to prove it. Is that all you have to leave her with? No problem there. I... I was sentenced to death for... I was sentenced to the death penalty for killing my wife, Alma. But to me, that's not all it was for. What do you mean, that's not all it was for? Kill somebody else? I'm talking about something that happened even before this case. I stole somebody else's life. What? The other murder. It was ten years ago. I'll never forget it. That day I saved the life of a little girl. And I stole away the life of a man. Ten years ago? The life of a little girl? Could that little girl be... Lynn? She told you about that? Yeah, she said you were your... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> nah, my voice uh, got a little mixed up there. Yeah, she said you were her hero. Now just come... Now just calm down, and drop that weapon. Stay, stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her! Ten years ago, in a certain park, a little girl was taken hostage. I was still young then. I didn't have any self-control. I remember asking myself at the time, Child, are you gonna shoot this guy? And this is what I answered. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot. That's what guns are made for. He, if you're just listening, he didn't say the gun. The guns are made for line. My hand was shaking a little. My hand slipped. The man might die. Even the little hostage girl was in danger. Nevertheless, that was my answer. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot. Damn, big revolver. And the man died. I took his life. Lynn was never told the outcome. She was so young at the time. I don't deserve to be called a hero. What I deserve is... Execution. Okay, I mean, that sounds, you know, I, I appreciate this detective uh, is, is very committed to the idea that, you know, like, he, even as a detective, he doesn't have the right to kill anybody. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to think about that too much. Anyway, ready to go? My arms are getting tired. You got it, baby. Time for the big show of hauling you in. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Just let me make one last phone call. 
That's a big favor to ask so casually, my old friends. Tell you what I'll do. I'll pretend I'm not watching. I'll be listening, though. On that, you can rely. Cecil, you've got your own path to follow. You better hurry. My own path? Lane is at the Justice Minister's office right now, right? It might not be a bad idea to say my final farewell to him, too. Beep, 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 beep. Hello? Everything's fine here. Is this the chicken kitchen? I'd like to request a delivery. Um, the chicken kitchen is next door. Goodbye. <clears throat> uh, what has Lynn gotten in <laughs> into now? Hmm, sounds like she's son kind of in the wall. It sounds like she's in some kind of trouble. It does, doesn't it? Go help her out, would you, Cecil? Okay, all right. Sorry to keep you waiting, Inspector. Ready to go? Oh, before I forget. I have a little something for you. That was really dramatic. <laughs> nice catch. A present, if you will. There's nothing else like it, baby. If there's nothing else like it, don't throw it. What's this? A pocket watch? Considering my situation, it's the last thing in the world I need right now. Forgive me, man. Let's just say I'm no good choosing presents. <laughs> I know, right? Keeping his red scarf immaculate, making sure it's folded over perfectly all the time. This is it, Cecil. Let me just leave you with one thing. You've left me with a lot of things, actually. Don't trust other people's memories. Look for what you seek with your own eyes. I'll remember that. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Cavanella is like a like a three to four spritz man, you know? Like he walks into a room, and you definitely know. <laughs> if he leans over your desk to see what you're typing on, your like what kind of report you're you're reading, you know, yeah, you're, you're gonna come home smelling like him. They're gone. There's nothing left here. No hope. No cores either. One thing to do. Without any cores, I can't follow after them. This is the end of my adventure. I feel pretty dejected, but I guess I'd better go find Lynn. I'll follow the, the path that Detective Jowd pointed out to me. The path to the Justice Minister's office where Lynn went to try and stop the execution. Yeah, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! Yes, I would love to continue playing. <laughs> I feel like there's something in my throat this like this whole time. It's just like, hold on, I'm gonna try to cough it out. Okay, I think that's better. Now that my assignment to stop the execution has ended in such an unsatisfactory way. I decided to go see Lynn at the Justice Minister's office. Cool coat of arms. Or, or cool, uh, cool armor. Detective Jowd's story about this other murder weighs on me heavily. Should I tell Lynn about it? I just don't know. What are you doing back there, Lynn? This time, Lynn isn't dead. But the atmosphere makes me think it's probably a little too soon to count my blessings just yet. Trick time! Ah! Let's talk to Lin first. Eek! What? 
kind of greedy is that? I mean, I know I'm a ghost and everything, but... Well, and? How'd it go? Was Detective Johnson alive? He'd already been executed by the time I got there. I did manage to save him, but... You did? Oh, I'm so glad. Wait a minute. Did you say but? I told Lynn about my adventure in the prison. About that other murder, though. I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Inspector Cabanella arrested Detective Jowd? I can't believe it! Yeah, I feel the same way. I can't believe that wherever I go, somebody's always dead. Either you or someone else. Sorry about that. So, who is that laying on the floor there? Oh, you noticed him, did you? That's a justice minister. The man who signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. He was already dead when I got here. Shouldn't you have called for help in that case? Hmm. I guess so. But I'm wanted, remember? For murder? I was hoping we could save him without me getting caught. We, huh? Oh boy. Alright, sissy. We love to be used. Let's fucking go. Hey, can you hear me? Hmm. He's dead, but he still seems to be unconscious. Could you rescue him now while he's still unconscious? Instead of talking to him, I bet it'll be faster to just see for yourself what really happened. Yeah, I bet you're right. Back we go then. Four minutes before his death. Scratch, 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 Nice pen. Huge fucking fountain pen. Holy fuck. Emma. Emma. Oh, excuse me. Hold on, I need to figure out a voice for this guy. What? What? All right. I'll do as you say. No, that's not right. Hmm. This is terrible! This is terrible! I think I've got it. Hey, Jaco. Hey, Jaco. Yeah, okay. Why doesn't she answer? <laughs> <laughs> Medicine. <laughs> 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 Even the sticking the leg out at the end. <laughs> Such a foolish man. Oh, you woke up. He's a contradiction. Contradiction? The more we search for truth, the further we fall into a dilemma when we fall. The world of men is steeped in contradictions. If we choose this, we can't have that. If a man tries to have his medicine bottle, bottle and water pitcher too, he loses both. Oh, I don't know, it looks to me like you could have had both of those things just now. He didn't know the truth about the world. That's why he died. Such a foolish man. Oops. Or maybe I should say, a pathetic man. That's a more fitting word. <laughs> I don't think this guy gets it yet. That the foolish and pathetic man is him. Is that what they call a contradiction? By the way, what's your name? Just call me a seeker of truth. 
So I just tapped to that one, didn't he? <laughs> A seeker of truth? Who, who responds that way? Alright, so what we can do... Uh, Emma! Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Minister. Who is this? How did you get this number? We have your daughter. Who, who is this? Amelia's tutor? Would a tutor call you at this hour? N no. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My, my daughter. Is she all right? Tell me she's all right. Here for yourself. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demand known the other day. Oh, so it was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? Oh, uh, I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Oh, and of course, it goes without saying. We're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police. Is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. All right. I'll do as you say. I'll make sure that the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Uh, let's go there. Let's see if, you know, there's anybody actually there, if they actually have the daughter. How thorough they truly are. Also, you know, um, uh, she, you know, girl boss over here is, is, is kind of cool. Look at that hair. Apparently, the police in this country aren't so easily fooled. I had no idea word of tonight's deal had been leaked. Killed. I hate you, Mama! Luckily, I managed to arrange it so that the Justice Minister could hear her voice. But what's taking the good so long to arrive? I'm starting to get concerned. The heels, too. She's great. Oh, come on! Oh, are you serious? I bet nothing fucking happens. Uh oh. This woman doesn't show any signs of moving from that spot. And I can't use a telephone line either. Hmm. It looks like I fell in the tra into a trap. All women are like traps. Some are sweet traps. Others are bitter. Don't you understand that? Okay. Anyway, I think I better rethink things here. I wonder if anything happens if we just sit here. Statuesque. Truly, truly nothing is, is gonna, you know. I mean, I know nothing's gonna happen. This is a great time for me to uh, take a sip. Or actually, I'm gonna crack open this, this orange juice. <laughs> yeah, this guy. It's just literally, just, I mean, he's, he's a he's a seeker of truth, you know. He found it on uh, men going their own way, the, the, the subreddit or something. <laughs> Peter, oh. Uh, if I didn't I'd just open this, I'd open my beer. Oh, well. Wow. Perfectly still. Yeah, time's up. We get it. A mysterious kidnapping, eh? I'd like to find out more about it. 
but right now I have another problem to solve first. Cause as little trouble for others as possible. Now that's a rule to live by. Okay, you wouldn't be prime minister if you would live by that. What the fuck are you talking about? Never mind that. Never mind. Never mind. I'll just start over. Guess I better rewind the clock and see if I can pick up any other clues. I mean, he did call himself pathetic. And he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah, okay, come on. Emma! Blah, 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 blah. Oh, excuse me. Forgive me for calling so late, Mr. Mr. Tree. Who is this? How do you get the mind of the suburb? We have your daughter. Who, who is this? Amelia's tutor? Would a tutor call you the daughter? N no. I'll say it one more time. We have your daughter. What? My, my daughter, is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Papa, help! I'm gonna be killed! What do you want? What are your demands? I believe we already made our demands known the other day. Oh, so was you! And you have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? Uh, I didn't do it because you demand. I didn't because that's my job! Yes, yes, of course. No, you should be contacting me and me now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You do well to remember that. Uh, and of course, it goes without saying. We're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. All you have to do is your job. Alright, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Uh, yeah, we're staying here. This is terrible! This is terrible. A kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure what the word means, but it's apparently because of the minister's heart attack. Such a useless man. Ha <laughs> ha! A useless man caught up in a useless case. Why doesn't he understand that? <laughs> anyway, we only have four minutes here. I'd better do something about that medicine. I have to call my wife. I have to see if it's true. Maybe they called the wrong person. This minister doesn't accept the truth easily. He's morally bankrupt. Okay, now you're taking it too far. His wife won't answer for some reason. Hmm, a wife who doesn't answer her phone. I think I know who that is. A morally bankrupt man deserves a morally bankrupt wife. Why doesn't that man understand that? No, I'm sorry I ever brought this guy along. <laughs> okay, okay, let's examine the medicine bottle. Because Cecil can read. So this medicine stops the minister's attacks, eh? If I could, I'd spill them onto his desk right now, but unfortunately I can't even open the cap. What a shabby excuse for a man. Huh? He wears his important-looking uniform and sits at his stately desk. But what does he have inside? Nothing. Miserable. Shabby excuse for a man. I think you've already said quite enough. Alright. Examine the water pitcher, I guess. Take a look. If only he could at least drink some of this water. Too bad he knocks his pitcher to the floor at the end of this four minutes. Such a stupid man. <laughs> huh? Once water is spilled, there's no getting it back. And knowing this full well, why do people still spill water pitchers? <laughs> I don't know. Those who are not, do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it? Flag. We can flap the flag, I guess. Let's see what that does. Wow. Alright, let's just get in the, in the phone. Get in the phone. Oh yeah, it's no use. The line isn't working. Hmm, apparently it only works if the other party answers. His sprite looks so sad too, like a bulldog. Yeah. Why doesn't she answer? Alright, All right, since the medicine bottle is what happens first, and when he gets kicked all the way over, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over there. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, 
Uh oh, here it comes. His worry and anxiety have reached their peak. Such a disgraceful man. Huh? If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> if you stub your toe a lot, you are bound to be plagued by stubbing your toe. What? It's so simple. Why doesn't he understand? But there wasn't a chance to rescue him before now. It's not over yet, though. I can't give up now. M medicine. It's a long three seconds. Raise the arm. Swing the sword. Let's fucking go. Donk. Oh, no, never mind. Raise the arm. Oh, I have to do this pretty fast. Salute. Hanging basket. Rock the... Undo the frame hanger. What? Rock the hanging basket? Oh, there we go. Time till death one. I probably didn't do this fast enough. Swing! Swing! Better, better. Oh no, it's not long enough! We have to go further? And this is to go even further beyond? I have to lower the arm too. Okay, close the curtain. Holy shit, I have to do all of this? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, raise this arm, get on the globe. I guess, tilt it upwards? Yeah, shit. Just, just send me back. Just, just fucking go. <sighs> I better not have to listen to this whole, like read out this whole conversation again. Can I just go to this side? No, I have to go here. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, okay, okay. His fate doesn't change, but we don't have to watch the whole thing. Turmeric, turmeric rice eaten, no throw ups. Except oh, that's fantastic! Oh, oh, that's a relief. And some for something so delicious, too. I'm really glad to hear that. All right. We have two fucking seconds, which are the longest two seconds of anyone's life. Uh, so let's go over here first. Close. Raise. He's just having fucking conniptions. Uh, turn, I guess. Spin. Hello. Undo frame hanger. Am I really supposed to do all of this so quickly? Wait, I can uh, I can probably just wait. What's this? Frame hanger. Close. I gotta work fucking fast here. He's about to fucking die. What? Okay, okay, there are too many things that I did, clearly. Kampai! I'll probably crack open my beer pretty soon. Alright. So I did too many things. There's probably no need to undo the stand. Um, yeah, I can't think of how that would help. I need my... the... Something a little bit long. No, I don't want to talk. I don't want to. I need something just a little bit longer to knock the medicine back. Yeah, we can't give up. Medicine, knock it over. Yeah. So my what I'm trying to do is I'm trying like I've got the medicine here and I'm trying to knock it back towards him. So I just want to get onto the other side. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I think I do want to knock the... or... Spin the globe. Nice. Wait, not nice. I want this globe on the other one. Hmm...
Yeah, because this would definitely knock the, the medicine over. That's spinning the wrong way. Okay, we have to restart. Yeah, Aya! Aya! That turmeric rice is amazing, though. Honestly, I make I might make it again later. Okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to figure out how I can get the globe to roll over. So I want to start by raising the arm on the left knight, go up and undo the. Yeah. So raise arm. Uh, undo this, and then go back to curtain, shovel over, and uh, get the globe to roll over there. That's my guess. Yeah, I do have to raise. So dramatic. Undo the frame. Lower the arm. Close the curtain. I think I spent a little too much time there. Raise this arm. I, I feel like this is taking too long. Let's turn the globe stands. Spin. No, that doesn't do it. No, that's not good enough. Damn. Undo the hanger? What's this do? Shit. This, no. So that, that was uh, not the way to do it. Shit. <clears throat> CC has to watch people die constantly. He's so reverent about it. Like, he's had to watch this guy have a heart attack how many times now? Yeah. That's just because he's bad at solving the puzzle. It's not my fault, the sissies. <laughs> and hey, at least, you know, we're trying to solve it in the other other room or something. Twerks to this. <laughs> nice. Okay. He knocks it over. We raise. Oh, you know what? Maybe we turn the basket. I did. I just rocked it before. I didn't turn it. What is this gonna do? It's gonna put the fruit on the floor or the ball on the floor. Why is there? Oh, wait. Hold on. What did that do? Maybe now we undo the hanger. That feels like it's not necessary. Oh. Oh, you know what? We need to get him water first. Wait, no, but I need to get over here. I think I'm starting to get it. But we don't have enough time because we don't get in the water. So... Walk the, walk in the door, ball on the floor, everyone do the ball on the floor. <laughs> yeah, there are lots of balls on the floor. Sometimes some vases too. Maybe what we do to start is we just like save him with the water situation. And we buy ourselves some time. Because I don't have enough time to do everything with the medicine. And maybe I can somehow send myself over. I don't know. The only thing I can do here is like flap this. Balls. Balls the wall. Yeah, you knock your medicine away, we, we know. We've seen it. Flat. Flat. Reaching for water. There we go. Okay, so, so he gets to drink some water. <laughs> you just poured it, like, in your nose, dude. There. That should help. At least now he's had some water. Oh, sissy, you know. You know what's gonna happen. He's still breathing, apparently. But he looks far from recovered, unfortunately. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? He can't make his mind up whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. 
At least now I bought him some time to get his medicine to him. Yeah, fate change, but now how do we get over there? How do we fucking get over there? I don't know. Can you throw the water pitcher? Minister fate has changed, but the situation still remains the same. I can't move anywhere now. Did I miss something? I think I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Maybe I should start over from the beginning. Oh! So I, uh, that's, that's a trap. And there was something I needed to do when he was drinking the water and I missed it. Whoopsie. But, uh, it's, it's very clear that like the water's first. So he knocks this over. Maybe there's a document that like flew over or something. I must have totally missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We seen it all, buddy. Such a pathetic man. Water. Let's hang out in the documents. I feel like that's probably what have what should have done it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. <clears throat> I didn't see anything happen. Okay, what actually happens here? My guess is like a water droplet splashes and goes all the way over there as he's swinging it or something. And I just didn't see because I blinked. Sissy is a good swimmy. This game has a lot of bokehs. So I guess we're just going to watch him uh, suffer. Bye, bitch! <laughs> okay, it's just the same thing. Alright, go back. What did I miss? I definitely can't make it back in time. So, I have to do this. And there's something I... Flat full. Yeah. I mean, they gave me a hint, and there's only so many things that I can do. Can't use the phone. What a befitting room for this man. Huh? It looks stately. But it's filled with nothing but useless trash. When in the past I can only use the line when a phone is being used to make a call. I guess I found a to find another path. Yeah, that's fine. So I guess what I'll do is uh Oh! Oh! Spin harder, baby! Let's go! Alright, we have progress. There, that should help. At least now he's had some water. Wait, shit. I think I'm trapped up here now. I needed to spin harder and that'll send a document flying. That's what I needed to do. Such a wishy-washy man. Huh? Oh, yeah. 
We, we, we read this. We, we've been here. So I should have spin, uh, spun harder sooner. Oh, maybe I, I rock down to the bottom. Please, let me get down there. Shit. Can I at least jump to this? Yes. Yes, thank God. Woo! <clears throat> wow. Fucking parallel landing. Nice work. <laughs> That's needlessly dramatic on a fucking medicine bottle. Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. Maybe this annoying man is actually giving us clues about his, in his dialogue. Wishy-washy. Uh, he wishy-washy his... Uh, he, he used all his water. He can't even wishy-washy his medicine down with it anymore. He better swallow it without, you know, having anything to drink. If the minister was going to make a full recovery, I had to deliver this thing to him. But how's a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I guess I'll just have to use my head instead. Yeah, like we've done every other time, sissy. All right, raise. Salut! Salut! Chin chin! I mean the Italian version. Yeah, this place, this uh, this definitely has some red herrings. I mean, the whole going over here first is a red herring in the first place, but... Oh shit! Wait, hold on. We want to go back. We have to drop... Uh... No, we don't. Because what we're doing here is we're dropping this down. We drop this. This face lands on the ground. That's very in the center. That's a lot more in the center than I was expecting, actually. Okay. Roll. Doesn't seem right. Let's try it. Yeah, what difference is Oh no, this is the heavier one. So we need to have the fruit on first, and then we drop this one. But what good does that do? Maybe this is fine. Let's see. I have an idea. So we're going to go back over here. And we're going to drop this. Turn that. Trick. We're going to knock the vase down. Yeah, okay. Oops, no, I do want to go up. That's going to get the globe set onto, yeah. Wow, fucking one shot. And this will knock everything back. Pow, bitch! Dink. <laughs> My medicine. Oh! <laughs> Even you. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that's a bad fucking idea, buddy. Ooh. There. The minister finally took his medicine. And that's definitely the correct dosage. I think he maybe even took too much medicine. Such a greedy man. Okay, one last time, buddy. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? Oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? Wait, what? What? Hello? Oh, he used to work at the chicken kitchen, huh? That was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? I guess this is the last time. He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. <laughs> that is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. Yes. And so the Justice Minister is back to life. But why can't he see that? And the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. Oh, hi, Lynn. And apparently our lady detective is the present cause of those furrows. 
Look, detective, he was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there's no evidence! All he had was his own confession! But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, <coughs> please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? What? So, please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. But, but when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. But when the I mean, excuse me. <laughs> but when the sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as a justice minister. That's all there is to it. Yeah, good fucking answer, dude. Really convincing. Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the justice minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Yeah, did you not notice all the just wacky shit behind you? Yeah, who could this possibly be? Yeah, sissy, there you are! It sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't save, have saved him after all. <laughs> Fucking Lin. The minister has, has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lin what I had heard about the kidnapping. Kidnapping? They kidnapped the Justice Minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still. But still. That's no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister then? Hmm. The poor man. I hate to do that to him. Oh, by the way. You think you could carry me? Oh, right. Sure. Not very handy, is it? Having no legs. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> Lynn loves bloodshed, after all. What are you going to do with that clove? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this, uh, <laughs> pay no attention to this. It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it, by the way. And please pardon me if this is a silly question. Were you talking to somebody just now? But <laughs> of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Uh, no, there's no such thing. This is a dream. It's nothing but... A dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me. Hmm. So now I'm a dream, huh? Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. I saved your life. Mr. Minister? We know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again. No! Ah! Your medicine! Your medicine! Ah! Ah! Nice job, Lynn. Oh, what am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped if he isn't executed tonight. My daughter! My Emily! But what if the execution isn't the right thing to do? Ah! Come on, Lin. If you keep pressing like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? 
Alright, you know what? I'm gonna solve you bitches' problems. First, we're gonna talk to this guy. We meet again, Mr. Minister. Wh what? I've never seen you before. In, in any case, I'm a very busy man. If you're a dream, please don't bother me when I'm awake. <laughs> I'm not a dream. He looks like it's just a waste of time trying to talk to this guy. Oh, all three of us are here. I think you're right. Stubborn justice minister. Please stop speaking ill of me inside my own head. I mean, you were doing plenty of that. Okay. He loves his stupid ass movie He's so much he named his daughter after it. <laughs> we have to do something about that kidnapping. Until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start gathering in by gathering info on it, kiss the kidnapping. And the only way I know it how. Let's go. I mean, you would kind of think that the fact that the the guy saw, the fact that it was just a recording, you know, that would kind of help a little bit. I assume we see, I may, maybe they only understand and see, like, the correct path, the path that gets them there. And if I visit this way, it's it's not proof enough or something. I really should pay the kidnappers high out of this. After all, if we want the Justice Ministry to come around, we have to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. But I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Alright. Quick bathroom break, and I'm gonna be back. Look at that. No! Wait, how does this get all... Oh, headphones get all mixed up. You're back! Ah, okay. I'm back, and I have a Jasmine AP IPA, Elysian Avatar. Um, it's not nearly as good as the stuff that Mari posted. I'm not really getting a lot of Jasmine at all. It's very hoppy, and um, well, it's uh, oh muted. Wait, am I still muted? Hello. Oh, hello. Mm. Anyway. Uh, a jasmine IPA. Yeah, it's a uh, the like. I mean, I I, I like I, I like IPA sometimes, but this just feels very very. I get a little bit of the jasmine like at the very end. It kind of like coats the side and bottom of my tongue a little bit. But a jazz a jazz themed IPA. <laughs> no, um, I, I saw this uh, jasmine IPA. The jasmine pilsner was fucking incredible. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's try this out. And this is really just very, very, very hot forward. It's um, it's what you expect from an IPA. It's quite bitter. But I, I don't hate it. It's just like when I see the Jasmine IPA, I, I'm a little more hopeful, you know? Oh, well. Kanpai, bitches. And I figure, um, I mean, I, I think I'm going to do another chapter. I hope, uh, I hope everyone's okay with that. I'm, I'm steaming forward. Wait, okay, steaming forward doesn't sound very good. 
I'm barreling onwards. I don't know. After all, I just uh, I just opened the beer. I might as well enjoy it. Mm. The justice daughter, minister's daughter, has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of death row prisoner Zhao to be carried out tonight. Kanbanya! Lin says, says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. Plus, I mean, like, you know how the, the uh, that, that, like, uh, DS9 character quiz? Oh, okay. What took you so long? Okay, okay. Before we, uh, we talk about this guy, like, the, um... Like the uh, the the DS9 quiz that's it was actually legitimately pretty funny to take. Um, I, I I got you know Kira Narice and like the description of it is like you've transcended girl boss and you just become bitch boss and you know that's like I, I kind of feel like with this uh, this kidnapper uh, lady with the the curl hairs and the the, the hot heels and the, the the sharp dress you know that's kind of what I'm feeling from her. Um, Simp Simpy Crescent Face. Oh oh yeah okay. <laughs> I thought, um, I thought this was like a delayed response to, to me uh, returning, and I was like, wow, come on, rude! <laughs> Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Xiaomi, I need to show you the NYC picture of someone quitting cold boss, quitting girl boss cold turkey. What? <laughs> that sounds like, that's a hell of a description for a picture, so I would love to see it. Please send that one along. Next time, maybe you should take a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. Wait, this room is uh, a little suspicious. Hmm. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There, see that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. I'm really laying it on thick here. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. Alright, so I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. Shut up. Alright, little lady. Let me open that trunk for you. Beauty. Damn, dude. Okay, it looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. And something else is bothering me, too. Yeah, this room is uh, really suspicious. But, yeah, okay, okay. I don't think I've ever been in this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Taking something precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks of those without the powers the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Yeah. Ew, song logs. Now then. Time to see what the, how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing. Before this guy, excuse me, wakes up from his dreams of beauty. All right, we got a door, we got a candle, we got some decorations. Okay, this one's gonna swing. Okay. So I'm guessing what I do is I swing. And I burn brighter. 
go! Whoa. Oh, okay. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to something, something flying with it. I totally know what you mean. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Yeah, so where's Ghost Trick 2, motherfuckers? Swing again! Ah! I'll take it. Spin faster? I'd love to. <laughs> Wacky room. Oh! There it is. It was all for that. Oh, I can just get over here. I guess I need the ball though, so let's just head back. Oops. Boom! Heh. <laughs> Nothing personnel. Headshot. Lower the shade. But that's nice and dusty. Oh, crate? Darn! I can't reach my destination from here. We're not done yet. Relax. We got the ball, we got a balance toy, we got a party popper that's still active, I guess. Okay. Ghost Trick 2 is in the panty and stalking dimension. <laughs> Don't say such horrible things. Oh. A little delayed reaction there, buddy. Just my imagination. Just my imagination? That's all he has to say? If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. But look at that streamer go spinning round and rounds. Now how can I make use of that? I don't know. There's another party poppy here, but I guess we'll, we'll fire it. Why not? Boom, bitch! Just my imagination. Yeah, whatever. Mmm. Just my imagination. That's all he has to say about two party poppers? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Well, we have a spin toy. Nice. Oh, maybe less nice. Shit. Okay. I can't work with that thing. But I can get the, uh... Hmm. Oh, move the candle sconce. Wow, now big move there. This is one of those things you light with fire, isn't it? As long as there's still light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But if something can be lit, it kind of makes me want to light it. I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core. Yeah, let's rock the suspended shelf. Wow. Big moves. Oh, Sissy's got something to say. The shelf is suspended by very thin cords. They look like they're about to break. I bet it'd be quite a spectacle if it fell. If something can break, it kind of makes me want to break it. Yeah, 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 I, I hear you, Sissy. We'll get right on that. Alright, spin faster. What do you get up to? The, the streamer really doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, no, it was spinning this whole time. I could have done something with it. Uh...
There we go. My best guess is I can lower the shade. And I activate the spin tour. Wait, it's not spinning faster. I thought I spun a shit. That doesn't make any difference. Hmm. There's not that many things I can manipulate anymore in this room. So we have the box. We've activated both party poppers. Ball can't do anything. Crate can't do anything. Shade raises. This moves. I guess I move it back for now to light it. Because I think, I think like it's going to be easier to light if it's not tilted. And then I tilt it in order to burn this thing down. So that's the eventual goal. Then it's going to land on the, the thing. The, uh, where the Prime Minister's daughter is. Eh. No, too fast. Sorry about the, uh, the noise. Maybe I'm just not, like, I can't do this fast enough. Yeah, it already calms down by the time I get up back over here. I don't know what this second streamer is supposed to do. I can spin this, it winds this thing up, but there's nothing to lead fire over there. That's the goal. So I want fire at that base area. How can I generate fire there? Is the question. Oh, I can burn something more brightly. There's a fucking candle. So I do that. I spin this faster. Da doi! There we go. Nice! <laughs> Shit's just flying around all this room. It, it, it's just fucking everywhere. Hey, works for me. Get over here. Get over there. Ka choo, ka choo, ka choo, ka choo. Now we can spin toy. Little doll with a candle has everything she needs. <sighs> nice. I guess I could have just had it in the, the set direction, or the set position. But I would have to still go over here so I could rock it, I guess. Move! Oh, I guess that was enough. Donk. <laughs> Just my imagination. Seriously? That's all he has to say? We're in! Go! Wow, oh, that's cozy. Wait, that's Camille. Wait, that, that's not the Prime Minister's daughter. What, what in the... What's going on here? This little lady is... Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? No, I don't think so. She's just reading? Just my imagination. Again, oh, that's not your imagination, buddy. Start simping. After Chicken Girl. <laughs> What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. Okay. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Shimps. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps. All you have to do is ask. Have I been... kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. 
<laughs> the surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we are... We just ask for little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house! Hmm? This house is... Where I used to live. R what I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. <laughs> What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Well, we stopped simping for one second. Don't ask me. Don't ask. Just don't fucking talk to me. But if you really must know, it was at the other party in our deal. Who chose this location? Oh. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about a bread and milk? Oh, 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 of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. Chop, 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 chop. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. Not quite yet. I could have done that better. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place with Campbell's old house? What's going on here? That probably means she's Jowd's daughter. Oh yeah, let's talk to her. What in the world? Why does this little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And, 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 and it also means... Somebody else must have saved her. I'll drink that. She's reading BL. <laughs> It's just a fun little book, you know? I'd better ask her what happens. Who's there? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile! I'm sorry. I'm not Missile. My name's Sissy. <laughs> oh, BL star 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 star. Sissy? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell this poor little thing's the land of the dead. Hi, hi Mari. Hi Microwavy. How's it going? Uh we we if just to catch you up, we've uh helped the prison break and now we're uh, uh is it Camilla? 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 I'm not sure. I, I just went with Camilla. But uh, we're, we're helping this little girl who uh, who apparently has powers of the dead now uh, to escape from being kidnapped. I think. That's the goal. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn. I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax. You're not dead. A test for a new job opportunity. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, I hope it goes well. I hope, uh, I hope it, you, you, uh, you hear back soon. Sweaty and nervous? Well, hey. You put in some good work. And now you get to relax. Especially because you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe I do remember. Sort of? You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm, so there's some other dead person with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you have any mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure. Go ahead, sissy. Oh, wow. Cannon. Cannon. Literally cannon. So I, I've been calling him sissy this whole time. He's sissy. Sissy, hey? <laughs> Mm hmm Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. 
I never got should have gone through that park. What park? Tamsik Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grab you? Yeah, Lynn always said. I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Tamsik Park, eh? <laughs> you feel like you just looked in the camera and said the name of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy. What am I gonna do? Lynn is gonna be so mad! She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box. In the park. That that's right, the music box. The music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know. I'll pretend I don't know. I say loudly into the land of the dead. You know, you don't have to humor me. Oops. So, what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes of the park just before it happens. Just before... Oh, just before you got kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it. So I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I better let Lynn know. This is your old house? Yep, this is where we lived. Until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's the detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way... <clears throat> Glad I didn't have any alternative thoughts about that one. Uh, by the way, about your father. Uh, oh. Is he the justice minister? My father is... gone. I feel like with, with each mystery we solve, a hundred more pop up. This is a good mystery story. Yes, it is. I really thought I had the answer, but I fucking didn't. Yup. This is a good fucking game. Gone? Maybe he passed away no no that's not it my dad he's going to die and it's all because of me what what wait wait what, what do you mean because of me why would you say that it's called an execution my dad is a detective no no way do you don't tell me your father is detective chow <laughs> That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago? That murder case. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. And I, I set up that contraption. I'm home, Kamala. Why is it dark? Camilla? Camilla? Uh, <clears throat> Camilla? Camilla? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What was that noise? Oh, shit. I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. Hmm. I know that contraption, and I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and cake. A birthday message. My, my dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. <laughs> Owen, hello. <laughs> this is fucking traumatic. 
My dad wanted to be executed. He asked him for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. And my dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. <laughs> this is also unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Chow's daughter? Chad has been waiting has been waiting to be executed his whole life. He's like, God, finally. And then and this fucking ghost shows up. Of course he I just can't die. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I wanna know! Sissy, you suck at this. Oops. <laughs> there are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy. You're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay. Well, we'll talk later, right? Don't forget. You promised, sissy. New info has been added. Sissy promised. Just keep reading. Your BL star 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 star. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. Even that nice French one, I know. We're leaving this place. Right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, were we supposed to meet here? Yes. And he's the one who chose this location. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work all for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you. My sixth sense is very strong. All right. As you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. All right, we're leaving. Whew. Pardon me, little lady. <laughs> hey, the book! You, the fucking book! That must suck to get dragged in. <laughs> on the book? On the BL. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady, the little lady's gone now, leaving me only with a few f new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence, the sum of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Plus, Mari just joined. I'd like to do one more chapter. It's 12.25 a.m. We got time. We got plenty of time. You know? She does have blue skin. Uh, wow, well, racist. Hello. See? Can we can we get a timeout in this chat? <laughs> it looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter. Kamala. 
Or Camila, I'm not sure. Not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the justice minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Silent Steel Cat? No! I love to talk! Oh, fuck. Yuri! Objection! I told Lynn what I had found out about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camila's old house, and that these, they sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla? Why, why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old Justice Minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. No, but he's completely called for sissy we heard his wishy-washy attitude it looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow the poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution it's just too much it's a cruel twist of fate i agree shall we play phoenix right next you know okay 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 the next game i plan on playing is the one that pommy's in bomberman 64 the second attack but Phoenix Wright wouldn't be a bad idea. It's been a long time, and I guarantee I don't remember, you know, how to uh, get the Silver Samurai off of uh, off of Death Row or whatever. So maybe that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's a fun. That's a fun game. It's a cruel twist of fate. I agree. And then there are those other twists too, like the kidnappers winding up and and using Kamala's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be pure coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. You'll play along because you never finished it. It's a it's a cool fucking game. Those are that's a really good series. Um one is solid all the way through and has a nice bonus chapter if you get the DS version or the, the, the collection. Two is is great. Uh, it has one of my favorite cases in the entire series and one of the worst cases in the entire series. So you just kind of have to grit your teeth through it. Um, but it's worth it. And then three is like a nice culmination of the entire like the entire arc. Um, it, it it works really well and it has it is lots of fun. After that, it kind of like goes uh, goes a little uh, wild with um, some of the gimmicks and some of the, like the, the characters and stuff, but. Um, those are all, they're all still fantastic games. I told you before, detective, I want you to stand back. Bam! Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah! How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please, if you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It is complicated. <laughs> oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? Uh, who? Who? That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just let myself in. Miss me, baby? Inspector Cabanella? Let me just try it on over. And dance. Because that's what I love to do. I have a little rapport for you, Mr. Minister. Oh my god, the low bow. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is.
Elder Guard suit. Detective Jowd? Detective Jowd? I'm so sorry. I tried. Whoa. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please, don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between the teacher and student brings a tear to my eye. Trick time. Okay, like three of these people I can talk to. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanello, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe that I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jowd could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha! Oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever you mean, young lady. He escapes from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to prison? I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons? Oh, okay, Lynn, come on. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend's? Everybody has certain principles they can go back on. Including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. Jowd looks like Dr. Light and Bob Ross's egg baby. Oh, egg, you say egg? You have no idea. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> oh, egg is more accurate than you know. It's even like a hard-boiled egg. You know how there's like a little space in the top of a hard-boiled egg? That is exactly fucking Jowd. He's a hard-boiled egg. That's like, you know, it's been peeled or whatever, and it just rolls. That's enough, Lynn. But, Detective Jowd... I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But, but? Chummy Lips talking about eggs? What do you mean? Have I ever brought up eggs before? <laughs> it just rolls. Yeah, it rolls right into my mouth. <laughs> so I can eat it. I don't know. Okay, Justice Minister is going to have another fucking heart attack. Look at all the people I can talk to. Let's chat. My, my poor Emily. Is she all right? Actually, the girl that was kidnapped's name is Camila. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute. Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. No, not me. My, my wife. It's, uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it, bet it would be pretty hard to admit. She left him! The minister wife? <laughs> the minister wife ran away on him? Oh, Lin is loving for this. Is living for this. Maybe they grew apart with him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossip gossiping about me inside my own head. Jow's just listening to all this and being like, you, you, you fools. No, 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 no. Cancel them. Let's talk to Lynn. Oh, my erotic novelist wife. <laughs> According to what I heard, Emilie was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But em Emilie didn't go out after all. Or Emily? Emily. 
didn't go after out, out blah, 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 blah. but Emily didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh. And so the kidnappers grabbed Camila by mistake instead? Apparently. Emil, Emily and Camila are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camila, Camila to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh, right, you asked her to ring the music box. Camila. Alright, we got all that going on. Let's just walk from spear to spear. Let's talk to Chow. So, Mr. Coast, <laughs> hey, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping? I'm blissfully ignorant. Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the justice minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution. Tonight. <laughs> I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. But it's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camila! Wh what? Camila? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No! It can't be! And by the way, Camila told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camila herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camila won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable, detect capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. <clears throat> you dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. <clears throat> it is it true? What Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. We came home from work, and she went in first. Bang. That's the sound of a, a gun. Shami says it. Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Amala, Alma and Camila. Just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her? Oh, oh my. That's so horrible! Camila told me about it. She was crying. Well, you know, no shit. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to, made an impossible move. An impossible move? Yeah, let's follow up on that one. Camila was a good, quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius in making elaborate toys and contraptions, but there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right, that was an antique gun that I've had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't! It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday! And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Wait, did he have a recording of this? How, do you, how did you see this happen? It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Kit. Excuse me, Camilla. 
I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. The lamp from the first episode did it? Oh, is that your new theory? Adjustment to the scene. What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of the frame, out of that frame with the picture. You just, you grab some fucking wallpaper or some, like, wrapping paper, huh? <laughs> Put it in the fucking frame. <laughs> Looks terrible, Jowd. Terrible. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? What? You, you mean... And that detective is still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When it was all done, I turned myself in. What, did you shoot your wife with your own gun? That'd be fucked up. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I convinced everyone of. Even me. And my French fry hair. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, powers I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple other people who know about those powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. Love how Kamala was wearing the same you know, outfit five years ago. Yeah, she hasn't grown one inch, one centimeter. The shock was enough. And some people like gray hair, like they're all their hair goes white after you know a terrible tragedy. Some, some, some little purple-haired girls just don't grow anymore. <laughs> She's so frugal. <laughs> the kidnapper who abduct, abducted Camila knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Chowd. There's still time before dawn. A little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? I like that sequence. That was good. Detective Chowd, is what you just... Is what you just told us just now true? Yeah, of course. In the ghost world where Cabanella cannot hear it and uh, the Prime Minister refuses to hear it. Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd. And, of course... Little Camila didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camila's sake. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Tamsik Park. Camila left it there. That gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. Sissel, sissy, take care of Detective Chowd. Sorry, I fucked up your name. I know you're sissy. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. Sissy's working too damn hard. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row Inmate. Shrug. A little change in, in plans. 
My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting with you for you. With a special seat just for you, baby. Now we blew that up. Then I guess we better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camila. In more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend. In more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight? As planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. <laughs> the fucking bow. As you wish, your excellency. Please, don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. Nothing is ever good enough for this guy. In that case, can I have one of your boys around a pr arrange a prison van to pick him up? Will you be so kind? Yes, sir! He just has a fucking seat with him? What the fuck? <laughs> the van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate? Trick time, let's fucking go. Now oh, we'll let's talk first. I'm glad to see Detective Zhao at all fired up now, but I feel like I'm kinda under the gun here. Even if Lin does come through with proof of Zhao's innocence, it'll be meaningless if Zhao or Camila dies. I'm gonna do something about that kidnapping. Somehow. Maybe I should ask some advice from the capable detective here? Yeah, let's talk to him. Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right? But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? Hi, doggy dogs. Oh, hi, Demart. Wow. Even Demart's here. Welcome. What I'm saying is, only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yeah? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change this situation. Gee, Detective. For these past five years, Camila is the only thing that kept me going. I can't meekly go to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but... Would you mind... Saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the justice minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. Is there a way? Let's, yeah, let's talk to the minister again. Ex excuse me, Mr. Minister? I can't hear you. La la la, la la la. I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly. I don't trust you. But there's somebody else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me. I can't explain your existence. It's not normal. But I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination. A delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest... I have no idea what you're talking about. I got the bit about you not trusting me, though. Good! Alright, well, let's just uh, scoot over and dial. We want to go to Lady Red's apartment. Lady's Red apartment, not Lady Red's. Elbow cough. Look what the cats and things dragged in. 
Only fams? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just as I thought. There she is. This little girl is safe in her bed. Minister delusional. <laughs> she got her second vaccine shot. It's fine. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping? This last link in a long chain of a sad fire, sad fate, lit a fire in Jowd's heart. And the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. Merry Christmas. Bang! I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight is related back to me in some way. And I bet this mistake-ridden abduction does too. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna put it to chat, because I'm I'm totally okay to continue playing. I can hit this yes button, but um, but how, how's everybody feeling? You okay for more? So uh, unusually long stream tonight, but you know, going a little like double long, I think makes sense as I missed last week. Plus, I still have a good amount of beer my, of my beer to go left. Hmm. Yeah, longer? Well, Damar did just join, so it only makes sense. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm using the bathroom. I'll see more responses uh, after that, but I'm definitely tending towards longer. Virtual hug. Oh, thank you. Virtual hug to you, too. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like five-minute break. We'll, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Couple minutes.
I mean, I know it's it's hot in New York, but um, how hot is it in Iowa? I mean, here in um in in Seattle, it's a uh, it's a toasty like sixty degrees. <laughs> I am wearing pajamas and a sweater, so. I did see this morning it was like 90 degrees in, um, in, in New York, though. That's fucked up. 93? Holy shit. Okay, 71 in California, all right. Oh my god. Iowa summers seem tough. I'm just enjoying some peanut butter and granola, so don't mind me. When I finally just visit Japan, I definitely need to make sure um, I plan around the fact that summers are going to be like miserably hot. Check the next piece. Easily the uh, the the like the dark rye roasted chip thing. Hundred percent. Fucking easiest thing in my life. All the other ones can fuck off. Give me a, just a bag full of those like the the dark brown ones. I think they make that, actually. How about you guys? What's your favorite Chex Mex piece? Oh, a little pretzel stick? Wait, balls smoosh, smush together. Yeah. If they didn't sell Dark Ride Chip, they'd, they'd be fools. Fools. Gardettos? Hell yeah. I see we all have fine, impeccable taste in this chat. Good to hear. Uh. Horned? <laughs> Horned? 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 <laughs> Sorry, I've uh, I've had, let's see, uh, almost a full pint. No, I'm gonna say probably about four fifths of a pint of beer. So you know I'm loaded. Your Chex Mix is stale, so I'm pecking, <laughs> you're picking them out. That's fair. Oh, breadstick. So it's like not the pretzel thing, it's kind of like, it's pale and a little toasted on one side or something. Maybe a little bit of salt or something. It's a nice little, uh, bready cracker. Yeah, those are nice. I also, I mean, it is, it is Chex Mix. Um, I do like also the, uh, just like the basic, like kind of, Salted and slightly spiced and whatever, you know, they, they toss on it. The the actual Chex wafer, you know. Little uh, puffed up grid. That looks like an anal toy. All right. Oh, oh, oh I see. Mm. Small components like Ruffles chips. That makes sense. I think, uh, okay, well, this is all reminding me of the snacks that I have. And I do have mochi, because I did go to Wajimaya yesterday, because I was driving around and I had to exchange my, I didn't have to, but I visited a friend I haven't seen in a, in a, in a good long while. Um, I saw his place and, uh, and, and met his dog, Scotty, Black Lab, very cute. Very, very happy to see just about, uh, just uh, like a very, very excitable dog with infinite uh, stamina. I was throwing the ball a lot um, as we were chatting, uh, but I, uh, one of the reasons I went over there is because forever ago, like I have I have a 970 GPU or I had a 970 GPU, 
that was actually his, I think. And he like gave it to me because he didn't need it and he just wanted to get rid of his old card. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. That's an upgrade. And then um, and then years later, the 1070 is what it, like what he upgraded to and wanted to get rid of the 970 for it. So um, I use I, I just inherited his 970 um, because he's got like a fucking 3070 now or something. Uh, I know I'm just kind of rambling about GPUs and their numbers are basically meaningless, but um, uh, the 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 1070 is an interesting benchmark because that's the basically the lowest level that you can Bitcoin mine at. And he had a, just a separate like an old motherboard or whatever, so he made a little computer and we're just Bitcoin mining for like the six months that I was late to grab this uh, this this new mem- this new GPU. So he made like $600 of Bitcoin off of Bitcoin or whatever he was mining just while I was like being fucking lazy about going and visiting him Uh, and also being, you know, in New York for a while. So labs and golden retrievers are S plus normie dogs. They're they're pretty fantastic. I definitely got the sense that like living, uh, uh, I think I'd like a cat, like you Calico. But um, but anyway, I have that. I have that card now. He just has the 970 as like a backup. Uh, he can't mine with it because it's not a good enough of a card. It's quite the step up between 970 and 1070 apparently. I don't know. Um, but it made me realize that it's time to upgrade my computer a little bit. So I'm getting an SSD to install Windows on because I have a fucking hard drive and that shit's slow. And I also need more RAM. I'm going from 8 to 16 because uh, when I start up my computer, it chugs. Uh, Firefox, sometimes, like, at the worst case, it's taken like 10 minutes to load a page. And usually, how I've gotten away with that is I've just walked away and done something else, you know, um, uh, while my computer's booting up and, and getting fresh, uh, freshened up for me, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but no longer. Cats are SSS+. Plus. Uh, C does have a fan. We picked it up. Uh, she picked it up while I was over there. Um, but uh, <laughs> at, at like 85, it was like, okay, is this thing doing anything? Um, but at 90, whatever it's at, um, I can only imagine. Because her, her apartment is a fucking oven. We had the shoji screen, uh, she had the shoji screen, you know, block some light coming in in the beginning, which did help a lot, but um, it, it doesn't, you know, make like the the biggest difference in the end. All right, all right, okay, okay. I think pretty much everybody's back now. Mari's, uh, Mari's in the shower, but um, I don't think I'm going to, you know, wait the whole time for that. Um, are people more for, are, 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 are people ready for some more ghost tricks? Are we ready for this? Continue playing, the yes button's just sitting there, waiting to be hit this whole time. How about I uh, unceremoniously close, uh, or like uh, uh, stop stop that, open, uh, restore previous session, because I don't want to lose my session, close tabs, and let's fucking get started. Here, you don't have to worry about the oven. You can, uh, you can, you can worry about the fact that it's twelve fifty-one a.m. and I visited the novelist's apartment again. That's scary. <laughs> Sanitizer. <laughs> Look, no, no, save the ice for yourself. You need the ice more than I do. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this whole mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the Justice Minister will call off the execution tonight. Gyo, gyo, gyo. That's Japanese for coughing. The key to dispelling the Minister's doubt is now in bed, coughing. And I need to use this key before that prison van arrives to pick up our death row inmate. Ten minutes until death. Gyo, gyo. The one hand chicken scratch typer while hold, like holding her gigantic <laughs> glass of brandy. My darling angel! Oh, just listen to that cough! You naughty little thing! Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? A daughter after my own heart! 
But I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. The <laughs> eight billion word love from the Grace Fick. True. Long. F I didn't go out to play. I went to buy Papa a birthday present. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. Giho, giho. Giho, giho. <clears throat> but look what it brought you. Your fever is now worse than ever. Here's the feverish passion of my darling angel. Giho. Mama? Yes, darling. Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday. Even though it's already past midnight. <laughs> Not tonight. Tonight, Emilie. Or Emily, I forget. Let's go with it. Emily. I hate you. It looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. And there's another lucky development, too. Emily wants to call her father. Now, if I can just make use of that feeling somehow. Anime? Her name's Anime. Okay, her name's Anime now. That would surely bring the Justice Minister around. We can light the lighter. Foosh! Uh-oh. Wait, that seems bad. Oh, well, actually, maybe that was incredibly easy. The phone! Amelie. Amelie. <laughs> anime. Anime, anime. <laughs> anime. I told you, you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, anime. Your father is about to make a big mistake. Yeah, that's true. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the justice minister, you know. All you do is write weird novels. She's processing. Give her a moment. Oh! What do you mean weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry! You really have! How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? Oh my god, lady. I hate you! Well, uh, that went well. That's it on Anime's You. <laughs> there. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you! I can hear you, you know. Oh. What a pair. I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady, so anime can call. Well, let's get started. We can open a wastebasket. Pop! Not much happened there. We can turn the knob on this lamp. I'd better not put out the lamp right now. It will only pour oil on the flames of anger in this lady's heart. If I want to give anime a chance to use the telephone, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. Yeah, I have to agree, sissy. Swing harder on the pendulum, make chime, turn the latch, turn the valve, hoist, chandelier, latch, examine a dictionary. Yeah, I'll see that. Sissy can, uh, the, the, you know, the one famous for being able to read. Let's take a look. Hmm. The lady's dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? The poor thing. Destined to never be returned to the bookshelves. Yeah, I got way up there. What the fuck? I guess let's turn the latch. 
Oh! I'm seeing some sparking. Let's turn a valve. So the rat can't cross because of, uh... Right, I don't know what turning the latch did, or the valve did. <laughs> oh! I'm not sure how this gets me to the rat, but let's let's swing pendulum harder. Kiho kiho. Okay, we can do other things in the meantime. I guess now turn knob won't help. What does this valve do? I guess we can call attention to the wall clock. Ratatouti? Ratatoutier. Well, well. Having a good time, are we, rodents? Little rodents? Sweet dreams! Dong! Oh, it's on the belt now. Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? A fine year, 1809. Ding! <laughs> Little rodents. She's more powerful than I thought. It looks like she tipped the wall candelaber to one side too. Hmm. The angle of those candles. I get the feeling I've seen something very similar to that quite recently. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Anyway, let's spark the fuck out of this rodent. Owns. Oh! Oh heavens! A blackout at a critical time like this? Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. Whoa! This chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. I love the th thrill of romance, but I don't need these kind of thrills, thank you. <laughs> On her... Hello? <laughs> okay. <laughs> The epitome of elegance, if I say so myself. Ah, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. It's trick time, motherfucker. Burn brighter? Okay. We can turn the crank, so I think the goal here is to trap her. But how do we do that? I don't think this lighter is going to get up to anything interesting. Yeah. Let's see what Sissy has to say before I turn off the knob on this. I don't exactly know how the situation came about, but I think I owe the rat an apology. The rat seems to be unconscious. But then now that the room has changed into this, maybe I can use it somehow. I'd better not put out the lamp. And only poor eyes on a little Yeah, yeah, we get it. Chiming's not gonna make a difference. Turning the valve doesn't do actually do anything. I can burn brighter on the candles. Maybe I can light her hair on fire. Let's see. What a naughty chandelier! A P to me? Yeah. That's what her, her novel's about. It's got a it's got that as a tag. Oh shit! Turn! Go! <laughs> Such insolence! <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. This lady is 
surprisingly quick. She dodged that thing like a pro. I guess I better get serious here. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Foosh! Hmm. Is it insolence? Or insulation? Whatever. I'll look it up tomorrow. Oh, she's not gonna look the dictionary, huh? Okay, so burning brighter didn't make a difference. That's a really loud sound. So, I mean, we can't crank it because she takes control of the situation. I can chime this, I can swing this harder. I cannot interact with the oil lamp. This can get me to the phone, but that's not useful. What does chiming do? Oh goodness, look at the time. As I bask in my tale of love, time has been moving on at the speed of light. Wait, that, huh? What? <laughs> That, that's all? Okay. Hmm, so even she's... So even though she's immersed in love, she can still hear this, eh? But this won't buy enough time for her daughter to make a phone call. There must be something else I can distract her with. Something else, indeed. Also, we killed a rat. That's fucked up. Okay, so the real things we can do here are we can turn the crank. I can't reach the windmill. Yeah, that's... The left side of this room is just not in consideration. I can turn crank, but she takes control. I can burn this more brightly, but that doesn't seem to do much. This hoist doesn't do anything. Turning the valve, we've already made use of it and it's shorted out the apartment. Swing harder won't get me over, maybe it'll get me over to the phone and I can do something? No. Okay. I'm not sure what this wastebasket has to do with anything. Lighting the lighter doesn't do much. So the, I think the real things in for consideration is like, this is locked off. Maybe this is relevant later, but lamp is not relevant for now. Pendulum swinging harder and, and chime, chime making chime doesn't do much for me. Burning brighter just makes a loud sound. So it's gotta be something with crank. Like I get her up and then I do something. That was close. Crank, 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 So on her way back, this is when I do something. Maybe she dodged because it was not directly above her. Oh. Wait, no, I didn't want to shit. Let's try this again. Let's let's crank it twice. So crank right when she's in the middle of it. Because the other things that I can do in this apartment are like make chime, and I, I think that's. I think I just have to time this well. No, that wasn't it. <laughs> Let's play the crank game. She's getting a, a good workout, you know? There we go. Yeek! She's got a brandy, she's okay. Am anime! Anime, help me! Mama! Gijo, gijo. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy, I can't get up. I'm afraid? <clears throat> I can't help you right now. Oh. <laughs> Here is to the weakness of my darling angel. Ding! <laughs> Even in there? Wow, her dedication. That chandelier on there is tighter than her wedding band. Oh. Sissy. That seems a little rude. She won't be able to escape on her own. That's the important part. Let's get out of here. Let's turn knob. If I recall, the novelist said she didn't like the dark. I don't want her thrashing any around any more than she is already. So I better not put out this lamp right now. Okay, then what am I supposed to do? Make chime? That's just kind of insulting. Swing harder. 
This does not quite reach, although I, I, I did kind of miss it a little bit. Let's try this again. Yeah, that's not near, anywhere near far enough. So I feel like I need to do something with this. No, I can't reach it. Oh, should I crank it? Oh my god! Help! 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 What is going on here? Anime, look! Do you see this? Help me, please! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. My head is spinning. So I guess you'll just have to say up there spinning too. <laughs> it looks like this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. Now the little girl can crawl farther. Yeah, I just need to find out how to to, uh, to burn that 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 string. Because the only trouble is she can't reach it. I guess I'll just have to deliver it to her. Oh, that's right, the angle of those candles. Thank you, Sissy, for pointing that out. I just saw something very similar just recently, didn't I? Yeah, let's get over there. Burn brighter? Oh, this seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry, lady. Oh, wait, that was important. Oh, the cats, the, the, the tails on the rats on fire. Oh, God. Sissy! This is horrible. Now I really owe that poor rat an apology. But this might be a really good chance for me too. I have to get that phone to, to, to anime. <laughs> Using the fucking tail of a rat to light the candles, that's fucked up. Sissy. Sissy. That's unethical. Nice. We really fucked up this house. Mama! What in the world is going on here? This was a pretty short episode. This better not be the end of the episode. Oh, she's gotten used to it. She's kind of she's got a one foot on the uh, on the, the 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 banister. She's okay. Oh, goody! Excuse me a minute while I call Papa. Okay, Mama. It'll only be a minute. Don't you dare, Emilie! I mean, anime. I forget your name all the time. Hello? Papa? <gasps> anime! Is that you? Of course it is, silly. What do you think? But I heard. They said you were. Ooh. No, never mind. It's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm melting at my chair, so I'm going to lie down and cool off. Otsushami, and good luck with tricking. Okay, gotcha. Thank you for joining us. It's been fun. I hope uh, I hope it cools down a little bit too, because Jesus Christ. Or I I hope the the ice in your fridge in your freezer, you know, like uh, firms up fast so you can drink something cold. I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Oops, took that side. Thanks to mean old mama. <laughs> oh, your mean old mama. I, I mean, your mother. What is she up to right now? Well, she's certainly up all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down. She needs to be taught a lesson, causing us so much trouble. No, Emily, anime. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? 
What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. But it's all right now. Whoa, that smile's creepy. Hold on. Whoa, get get your get your jowls back, dude. What the fuck? Oh. Okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of a justice minister is very complicated, you see. Okay. But, just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa, have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Amelie. Anime. I keep forgetting your name. It's I, I know it's anime, but I keep forgetting. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, she's just fully up on, on... Did this thing move to the right? She's just there. Uh, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness. Why the sudden change? I... I guess I was wrong about you? I didn't understand. I might still not understand. Oh, anime. I thought all you ever did was write those weird novels? That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right. I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. And I promise to stop calling your weird novels, I mean, <clears throat> your novels weird, and try actually reading them. Wh what? Oh, uh, maybe you'd better wait until you're a little older for that. <sighs> okay. So, anime, if you are feeling a little, to little more charitable toward your old mama, you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that, but I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. Oh, fainting spell. Tonight, on this holiest of nights, my deadline. It looks like the only things pressing on me would be this chandelier. Here is to Papa and Mama's darling angel. Ding! <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. It's such an abrupt change, I can't understand it. Is this what family's all about? In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly whew, as the furrows on the minister's brow. I don't know where Camila is, but at least the doubts, at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office where everybody's waiting. We everybody, who excuse me, everybody is waiting for the prison van. Oh boy, what a mess! The minister's family now has their smiles and harmony back, but Camila is still in the hands of the kidnappers, and I decided to go back to the justice minister's office. Surprisingly. Maybe unsurprisingly, the Justice Minister brows the Justice Minister's brow is just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who's just learned his daughter is safe, he still seems to be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. 
that seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is gonna happen. I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake. And for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. And I mean literally nothing. I did nothing. What did he do? He just said, sissy, nothing. But one question. I can't help but notice. Your dot is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Ah. Oh. Of course. There is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? Gah. Sharp as always, Cabanela. Please, let me think in peace. Until the prison van arrives. Trick time! I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get her report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continued distress of the ministers. Is there really something more to it, like the inspector in white said? Yeah, let's chat. Shabu Jiao, too. Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I exist? That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people. Don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. You actually know, you know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea that they were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Know? Know about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. What's this? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Zhao. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. About... All about this huge mistake this foolish man made. Okay. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top-secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Jowd. Right. They don't share too much top-secret information with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have a certain point in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. The curry-loving sausage head who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had a motive for their crime, and both of their crimes were... Impossible. Impossible. The curry lover had no way of introducing, of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The special investigation unit submitted an investigative report, report to me on them. They concluded to me that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. A manipulator, huh? These are all revolutionaries. <laughs> they should be released. True. I want to hear the secrets. Yeah, just fucking belt them out. I'm sure it's on YouTube. 
on, on whatever YouTube's equivalent is in this place. Xiaomi tube, could be. Sissy tube, <laughs> sissy tube. That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Okay, so for Bahaba Jiao's case, some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanela has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act. According to the inspector, the first case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Wow, that's high fucking praise. Nation's best? The whole country? Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow in a shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory too. However, I was seriously mistaken. And it proved to be a big mistake. What? You mentioned a mistake. Can you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. Alright, fine. I'll speak out loud so the Inspector Cabanela can hear this too. Oh, okay. Everybody gets to know. There's nation secrets. Secrets beyond nation secrets. National secrets. I like how his hair is like an open book or something. Maybe I don't like that. It's just uh, it's, it's, it's what it reminds me of. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I've made. Inspector Cabanela, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I... I learned the truth of it. First hand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. What? You never told me about this, Minister, Mr. Minister. That's a hell of a secret to keep. Especially when you know about the special prison. What's going on? Th this document, what am I doing? No! I mustn't sign it! <laughs> Makes him draw dick, but... That is his signature, actually. Wait! Don't deliver! That document! Yeah, his last name isn't just Dick Butt. It's actually, like, when you... There, there's a spe In this universe, there's a special character on the keyboard that just draws a Dick Butt, or, like, types out a Dick, board, dick Butt. Kind of how, like, there's, like, like that, that... I think it's, like, a Thai symbol. That, like, character symbol that looks like the Among Us, you know, sus thing. Um, you know, same thing. Except it's Dick Butt. It's just Dick Butt. And that's his last name. That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair, and suffering began. Jesus Christ. Fear, despair, and suffering. Let's ask about that. I hope it replaces the pound sign. Yeah. It would be much better. Who cares about pounds? Worthless. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated. Wait, it didn't? The fact that you just moved on your own and you were not under your own control and you explicitly protested about- What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm, so the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, huh? Signing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. Wait, hold on. 
You say signing execution orders is part of your job, and maybe that's true, but you've also said there hasn't been an execution in like 15 years. So, it seems like it'd be a kind of unusual part of your job specifically, unless you've had this office for a long, long time. Oh well. I'm not going to think about it too hard. But the next day, it dawned on me. I remember inspect I remembered Inspector Cabanela's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a missing minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, this nation's judicial system would crumble. He's got a fucking point. That's bad. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Hmm. I suppose. But it sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes. Yes, I know. I should have. I was... running away from the problem. And then, my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I'm glad your wife noticed. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. Oh, welcome back, Mari. Are you, uh, so, the major thing that you missed is that the minister revealed that the execution order he signed for Detective Jowd was when he was under the control of a quote-unquote manipulator. And he's explaining that right now. So there's some hand at work. If you don't draw, withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. That's a good reason. And then, with a kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. That's a good reason. So there's somebody else besides me with the power of <sighs> the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. What I'm not fine with is the fact that the person can control, manipulate, uh, control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly something I can, and not something I can do. Apparently, different ghosts get different ghost tricks. And someone's using their uh, their their force for uh, for fucking sinister evil, but I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Where it comes from, Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. A spirit. As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Jow, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too. I'd say the only person that can't hear him is you. And his guards, of course. Spirit? Ghosts? Gods in heaven. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before you make your final decision, sir. <laughs> I like how he prances off, but faster. Inspector! This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh... The situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Sissy! 
If you're there, come to the park immediately! Alright. That's where we go next. It looks like your help is needed, sissy. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Trick time! Let's see what uh what everyone has to say one last time. I never saw that coming. The minister is being controlled, huh? I'm truly sorry, Detective Giles. I have no excuse to offer you. You know, maybe it was all for the best. What do you mean? If you had never been manipulated, you never would have believed the power existed. After all, you're a realist, right? It just goes to show you, you never know when even the worst things can turn out good. Detective Chow, I... I don't know what to say. Alright, sissy. You'd better go help Lynn. She's a good kid, but she's got a habit on taking, of taking on other people's problems. Yeah, I know. Let's see, she's in Tempsic Park, huh? Let's go. But first, let's talk to the minister. Why not? I knew, actually, right from the beginning, knew what? That you saved my life the first time we met tonight. Oh, that. When I talked about a miserable, pathetic, short-sighted, disgraceful man. Don't forget wishy-washy. I knew I was talking about me. I hated who I had become. But you helped me appreciate the truth. Now. I truly understand the wonderful support I've been getting from so many, including that of my loving family. I'm glad to hear that. I'm starting to realize what a lucky man I am. And it's all thanks to you. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's fucking go! Wait, hold on. Sissy has something to say. Hmm. I wonder why the inspector in white went running out like that. Yeah, I wonder too. But I'm more concerned about Lynn. She looked really upset. I better go see her. Fast. Oh, we already are on the phone. Let's dial. Go to Temsic Park. Lynn calls and I oblige. I take off towards Tempsic Park, the place where clearly something big is taking place. The manipulator. The person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jowd's crime, my execution orders, and even, or not my execution orders, orders the execution orders, and even my own death. Could it be? Could Lynn have been manipulated into shooting me? Hmm, lots to think about. Hmm. So we definitely want to save, but we are going to end it there. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, uh, joining, joining me, joining, joining us. Everybody joining each other. Uh, that was fun. This stream went on unusually long, but you know what? I didn't mind it. It was a cozy three and a half hours that I got to spend uh, tumbling through Ghost Trick and its many tricks and its many ghosts, as we're starting to realize. Anyway, konban shami. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and take it as easy as you can uh, because it's fucking hot over on the East Coast. Uh, good luck, everybody. Drink lots of water. And good night.